Hi, welcome to the video on this box visualization, the ability to create on canvas filters. Now there is a new visualization called this box, which acts as an interactive filter to the rest of the visualizations inside the DB can. In this demo, we are going to see how to use the list box visualization. Now I created a project using the sample auto lines data set. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in a list box inside this particular canvas. So this is the list box visualization. You can drag and drop it in any part of the canvas. Now if you look at the grammar of the list box, all it asks for is just one column inside the category edge. And for now, I'm going to drag in product category inside this particular category edge. And with that, I'm all set to use the list box. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down here, select two options, furnitures and supplies. And as soon as I do it, I see that the rest of the visualization reacts to the filter options that I selected using the list box. Another important thing here, when I choose a value in the list box, not only does the rest of the visualization respond to it, but also other list box inside the canvas also react to the filter option that got selected. So for now, if you click on the products of category options, you will see options when related to furniture and office supply. The list box visualization comes up with a bunch of properties. And I'm going to go through the properties here in detail. There's an option called multi-select. By default, it is turned on. You can turn it on or off. So what do I mean by multi-select is if you click on the drop down, you have the ability to choose multiple values. It's not necessary that you have to choose only one value. Now let's go ahead and turn multi-select off. So in this case, when I keep removing the filter, you can add only one value as a filter to that particular column. If I click on furniture, it will replace uh, the office supplies and puts in a particular value. There's another property called default value. By default, it is turned to none, but it can be a custom value. You can type that particular value or from the list of various options for the filter, it takes the first one by default. And in this case, since furniture happens to be the first option, it automatically got applied as a filter. Now selection required. So this can be turned off or on. When it is turned on, it is mandatory to have one value for that particular filter. If it is turned off, like you are free to not to use that column as a filter. Then there are formatting options. I'm going to go ahead and give a color to my list box visualization. One other thing that we need to point out in list box visualization is once you go to the narrate tab, go into the present mode, you can now see filter options actually coming in the narrate tab as well and you can go ahead and choose filter options so you can go to the this properties window and select the filters tab so this section actually explains in detail what are the visualizations that the user can choose to react for the filter values that are selected by this list box so by default all visualizations are checked which means that all visualizations react to the filters chosen by this particular list box. But for this demo, let's say that I do not want my table or the bar chart to respond to the filter options that I have cho chosen this particular list box. So I'm going to deselect these two visualizations. So having done that, I'm going to go ahead and apply some filters. And I want to make sure that both of these two visualizations do not get changed by the filter selection. So let's say I choose furniture. You can see that the table does not filter only the furniture lines and you can see the bar chart also represents all the. So this list box gives the user complete control what visualizations need to react to the filter options that are selected through this particular list box. List box visualization is pretty easy to use, extremely flexible and pretty intuitive. Thanks for watching this video.